The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers National District has reached another huge milestone with the placement of the tenth and final concrete shell for the Kentucky Lock Addition Project. This is the last piece of what will be the permanent lock wall for the new navigation lock. It will also be used as part of the cofferdam in order to do future excavation and construction in the dry. Johnson Brothers, contractor for the cofferdam project, set the final shell in position February 2, 2020, on the riverbed below Kentucky Lock, where it will be part of the cofferdam and eventually a permanent part of the new lock wall. The placement of the 1.7 million pound shell took place after the Tennessee River receded to a suitable elevation following weeks of delays due to high water at Tennessee Valley Authority's Kentucky Dam. We're putting concrete on top of these shells. We're adding an additional 24 feet of concrete. So for the first five shells we've placed, they were high enough out of the water, we were able to continue to place concrete on those during high water. So we haven't been sitting here idle. The, the problem is we haven't been working on the critical work during high water, and that's setting this tenth shell. The contractor emphasized constant communication and attention to safety. Throughout the lift, the main objective involved keeping the shell level and inching it into position because it's difficult to slow down a heavyweight object once it gets moving on the water. We'll get it close as possible to grade and then we'll tug it on into the keyway. Once we get it into the keyway, the divers will assist us um, hooking up the uh, post tension rods that uh, tie back to the previous monolith that's already anchored in concrete. That keeps uh, the shell from shifting or moving once we're set and, and locked in. The Corps of Engineers placed the first of 10 concrete shells August 6, 2018. With each shell placed, the contractor and Army engineers made communication a priority to reduce risk and improve methods and processes. This is a massive undertaking and it has been since the fall of 2018 to now in February of 2020 to set 10 of these and that just shows that the contractor and the government both worked together and was able to do this. Aspects of the lift-in technique used to place all 10 concrete shells with a gantry crane is a unique engineering achievement. The contractor specifically designed and constructed the for the downstream cofferdam contract, and it proved its worth yet again with the final and heaviest lift. Once the shell is set, set in the water and sitting on the spuds and we've locked it in with our PT brackets on the side, um, the contractor has a, a lot of work to do to, to pour concrete inside that shell and lock it in place. We'll come back in maybe in a week or so when that work is done, when all those sandbags are in place, and we'll pour, we'll trim concrete underwater and fill in, in what we call the plug. We'll put the plug in, which sort of locks the shell in place. The temporary portion of the downstream cofferdam is the final step that will make it possible to excavate and then construct the new lock in dry conditions. This is Lee Roberts reporting for the National District at the Kentucky Lock Edition Project in Grand Rivers, Kentucky.